Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm finally going to be going through my product empties of January 2021. It has taken me about a week uh, to sit down and film again. I've just been so, so busy with life stuff and I've recently gotten a new job which I posted about on my community tab. So yeah, I'm just trying to work around my new schedule. Um, I will be going back to school in a couple of weeks as well. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to fit in my filming going forward, but I am going to try my best. So yeah, I will pro probably be doing less uploads going forward, but I did want to try and get as many of those reviews and things out for you over um, the sort of summer break here in Australia. So yeah, and also since last week, I've had quite a few new subscribers join the channel. So thank you if you are one of them and welcome to the madness. <laughs> so for those of you who might not be familiar with my product empties videos, it is basically like most other product empties videos that you'll find here on YouTube. I'm just going through all the things I used up this month or things that I'm getting rid of that I didn't really like. Um, and I will always start with my Lush things first because I know some of you guys just come to my channel for Lush content, which is perfectly fine. I'm happy to accommodate that. So yeah, always going for the Lush stuff first and then all the other stuff will be towards the end of the video, other brands and things like that. So yeah, if that sounds good, stay tuned, strap in, let's get into it. So the first product I've used up for the month is the Mask of Magnaminty Face and Body Mask. This is the self-preserving version and it is the largest size, the 315 gram tub. Now this is a long time favorite of mine. This actually used to be my favorite mask until they brought out Beauty Sleep late last year, which is my new favorite mask, uh, which will no doubt be in an empties video in the coming months. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really fantastic one. It does have some mint in it as the name suggests. It is a clay-based mask. It has quite a bit of honey in it as well, so it's not too... Um, rough it's quite smoothing um, it does have some little sort of scrubby pieces in there in the aduki beans uh, but they work really well um, I don't find it too harsh for my skin my skin's sort of normal combination um, so yeah I, I don't really get many issues with this and I really do like this mask um, in terms of repurchasing I won't be repurchasing this at the moment I just want to get through a few other lush face products first I'm trying not to buy things too far in advance, which has been a bad habit of mine with Lush. Um, I want to try and buy them as fresh as I can. So I will probably repurchase this once I've done with Beauty Sleep and uh, Herbalism and a few other things I've got in my shower at the moment. Um, yeah, just for something different when I feel like going back to it. So yeah, and I did also get a little sample of it. Uh, let me find it. Yeah. I got a little sample of it in an order I did. I think it might have been my Valentine's Day order that I did. I'll leave that link down below if you were interested in that video as well. And another sample I actually used up was the Beauty Sleep Face and Body Mask, which I'd already purchased anyway. So like I was saying before, Beauty Sleep is now my new favorite mask. It has quite a bit of lavender in it. There is some sort of citrusy notes in there as well. Uh, there's some vanilla. There's a few different things going on in there. It is a very... Um, beautiful smell just beautiful well-rounded smell has a little bit of a floral scent to it as well um, definitely a little bit more creamier in texture than Mask of Magnaminty less clay like more sort of moisturizing um, just smells wonderful and is very very hydrating compared to Mask of Magnaminty which I would tend to use for breakouts excess oil um, acne sort of issues that sort of thing whereas this is more just like a really nice all-purpose mask. I do like to use this at night. It does recommend to use it at night as well. Beauty Sleep, that's kind of the name of it and the premise behind it. So yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, and yeah, I'll definitely talk about it more uh, when I'm done with my huge tub that I bought. Hmm. So the next product I have for you is the Salted Coconut Hand Scrub. This is just the 70 gram size. It's just the normal size. Unfortunately, this product has been discontinued. I did recently do a review on it, so I will leave that link down below. I always tend to leave the reviews linked for these products as well if you want to know a bit more information than just me briefly rattling off a few things uh, in an empties video. But um, yeah, this hand scrub, I really liked it. I liked it as a body scrub rather than a hand scrub. My hands are pretty darn good. I'm pretty lucky in that department. Um, 
I don't sort of get a lot of issues with my hands in terms of cracking and things like that. They stay pretty good. Um, but yeah, I would have loved this to be a body scrub and in a bigger size tub. I think this would have sold more um, as a product if it was marketed as a body scrub. Personally, it does have a coconutty smell to it. Um, sort of like a, yeah, sort of like a so salted coconut smell, basically what it describes. So um, it does have some salt pieces in there that obviously act as the scrubbing function. Um, yeah, so I liked it. It wasn't too harsh. It wasn't too rough on the skin. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed that one. Next product I have for you is the American Cream Shower Gel. And this is just a really small size. I think, oh yeah, I got this in the Best Friends gift set. I think that, that's what it was called, Best Friend or Best Friends, um, which had the rainbow bubble bar in it, which I really wanted to review. Um, it had the blue gardenia salt cube and dream cream, I think. So it had a few different things in there. This was just a little extra add-on. Um, I've already got a huge American Cream shower gel in my collection. Um, American Cream is one of my favorite scents from Lush. It's probably in my top five in terms of shower gels that I really enjoy. Um, people say it smells like strawberries. I don't get strawberries from it. I tend to get a sort of lavender, herbally kind of smell, and it's got a vanilla smell to it as well. It's a good all-rounder, I would say. It's not for everyone's taste, but I think a lot of people do like it. Um, and yeah, it's something that I really enjoy. I love the conditioner version of it, which the conditioner has more of a honey-ish smell to it, I find. Uh, but yeah, very nice scent. Really enjoyed using the product. The shower gel is a really good consistency. It's not too thick, not too thin, just perfect. Yeah. Next product I have for you is the Happy Happy Joy Joy Conditioning Hair Perfume. I finally got around to reviewing this earlier this month. I managed to get this half price um, at the Lush, Lush sale, the recent sale that they've been doing over Boxing Day into the new year. Um, now, Conditioning Hair Perfume, a little bit of a confusing name. It is a hair conditioner. It just has quite a strong scent to it. Um, it's kind of herbally. It's got a bit of a floral thing to it as well. Uh, it's very, very nice um scent it sort of has um those sort of orange uh what do you call it what's the name i can't think of it right now orange blossom that's it orange blossom uh it's got orange blossom in it as well so it's got a really nice sort of balanced scent it reminds me a lot of the r b hair moisturizer slash revive hair moisturizer um it's had a recent name change uh so yeah very similar scent to that if you have tried that product but I wouldn't recommend this if you're not a huge fan of florals or orange blossom, that sort of florally smell or herbal smells. It is quite a strong scent, but it actually doesn't stay on the hair as much as you would think. Um, and the consistency of the product was good and it did leave a nice conditioning effect on my hair. Um, in terms of repurchasing, I probably won't be repurchasing this one just because there are other conditioners in Lush's range that I do prefer. I do have a whole video on that as well, which I'll link down below of hair products that I prefer from Lush and don't prefer and all that sort of thing. So I'm not going to go too far into that now because the video video will go forever. So I'm not going to do that. Next product I have is the Veganese hair conditioner. Also got this as a half price product, just a small 100 ml product. Very similar story to Happy Happy Joy Joy. I won't be repurchasing this just because there are other conditioners that I prefer in Lush's range. This is more of a lightweight conditioner. It's got a lemony, uh, sort of rosemary kind of smell, I believe. Yeah, rosemary, yeah. So it's lemon, rosemary, kind of herbally, citrusy kind of smell. Not my absolute favorite smell. Uh, the actual texture of the conditioner is quite thin. Um, yeah, it's just not for my hair type. I've got quite thick, wavy hair. Um, yeah, so this would be better for someone with thinner hair or if you're looking for a vegan conditioner as American cream isn't vegan and that's also one of my favorites, like I was saying before. So yeah, it's just up to you and what your preferences are and what you're looking for out of a hair product. So yeah, now let me have a look. I think that's all the Lush stuff. Yeah, that's all the Lush stuff. So if you were just here for the Lush stuff, thank you for stopping in. I'm going to head on to the normal stuff, I guess, the other brand stuff. So I've got a couple of things from the body shop. So the first one is the almond milk and honey shower cream. Um, 
didn't overly love this as a shower cream i mean it did the job it washed my skin all that sort of thing not a huge fan of the shower cream texture from the body shop just not my thing but i really loved using this as a shampoo which is exactly what i did with it i am trying my best to get through the rehab shampoo from lush at the moment which isn't my absolute favorite shampoo i bought it just because i wanted to retry it and revisit it um uh, last year and yeah i'm struggling to get through it because it is such a minty fresh smell and I, I struggle with it but i'm working on it and little things like this sort of help me through it when i don't really feel like using it so it's a very mild smell as well almond milk and honey really really mild um not overly offensive or anything like that um yeah that's probably another reason why i really didn't like it as a shower cream just because there wasn't a lot of scent and when i use shower products i like quite a bit of scent personally but yeah that's that and the other one I have is the Moringa Shower Gel. Now, technically, I didn't use this whole thing up. I did actually buy a large Moringa Shower Gel when I happened to be in the body shop in store. They were having some sort of deal on with the jumbo shower gels. And basically, it took enough money off my, um, off my shop where it made it worthwhile for me. So I, I pretty much got a jumbo shower gel for about 5 or $10 extra, which made it worth it for me. Um, so yeah, I poured about half of it into that jumbo shower gel just to fill it right to the top. Um, and then the rest, once again, I sort of used it either as shower gel, shampoo, um, or I used it on my legs um, to shave. And the Moringa smell is quite a florally smell, like a, tra a traditional floral smell, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, yeah, really enjoyed using it. No problems with it at all. Yeah, perfect product. Nice texture, not too thin, not too thick. Loved it. Okay, what else have we got in here? Okay, so we've got the Revolution Mattify Boost Niacinamide Mattifying Cream. Now, this is just a basic everyday kind of face cream, I guess you would call it. Yeah, um, nothing too special about it. The scent, there's no real scent to it. It's just kind of got a little bit of a chemical scent, but not too much. I won this in a giveaway ages and ages ago um, from a channel that I used to watch. Um, and I was just really surprised. I actually won it through that person's Instagram. Um, and I was just so surprised. Um, and it, it's makeup related. It's not Lush related or anything like that. But um, I've kind of moved away from watching a lot of makeup content just because it's not something that I am wanting to do in my spare time anymore. I've got so many other creators and um, things that I like to watch now, especially sort of history things. I really am into my history at the moment. So... Fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I've kind of um, moved away from that sort of content. But when I won this at the time, I was really excited um, and they sent it over from Sweden, which was really lovely of them. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I did send a little something back, a little care package from Australia back um, just to say thank you. So it, it, was, it was a good little thing to get. And yeah, this cream has lasted me before. I'd say nearly a year. I think I won this about a year ago. So it's been a long, long time um, just before COVID and lockdowns and everything kind of changed the world and turned it upside down. Um, so yeah, kind of a memory of uh, sweeter times, I guess. But um, yeah, look, there's nothing wrong with this face cream. Did I notice any huge differences to my face or anything, you know, anything like that? No, look, it, it, it's a good everyday face cream. I didn't get any reactions or any issues with it. It's just, it's just a good face cream. So if you're looking for just a cheap, normal face cream, go for it. <laughs> Next product I have for you is the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. This is something that I've been using for quite a few months now, and I've had it in quite a few of my empties videos, especially if you've been watching me for a while you will know this. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite deodorants I've ever tried. My new favorite, I've actually got a sample of it coming up, which I'll talk to you about. Um, so this is like my second favorite deodorant now. Um, I am someone who sweats a lot. Um, I do get quite a bit of odor. I've had a lot of people put suggestions in the comments in regards to lifestyle things and stuff like that. Um, it's not like that. I've had this problem since I was in puberty. It's not a health problem. I've had so many health checks, etc. I'm perfectly normal. I even had this problem when I was thin, so it's not because I'm fat or anything like that. Um, and I do keep good hygiene generally. It's just one of those things. If you are one of those people, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can't help it. You just sweat more than other people. 
you just have that little bit more of a smell than other people. Um, this product works really, really well in getting rid of the smell and also minimizing um, that sweat as well. Um, and the funny thing about this product is it's actually um, doesn't have aluminium, it doesn't have baking soda. It just, it, it has mandelic acid, which is something that helps with the pH of your skin, which definitely helps um, stop those bacteria from growing and um, giving you that nasty smell as well. I don't really notice a huge difference in terms of the amount of sweat, I guess. I just notice that I don't smell as much, which I'm perfectly fine with. I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, I tend to wear lighter colors if I know I'm going to be somewhere where I don't want people to see my sweating. <laughs> I tend to wear white or a, a loose blouse or something like that. That's the best tip I can give you guys out there. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, actually, yeah, let's talk more about deodorants. Oh, sugar. Sorry. I just dropped some. Um, these are deodorants that I'm actually just going to get rid of. Um, I don't really love these as much as my drunk elephant or the other deodorant that I'm going to talk about. Or the Noosa Basics deodorants, which are also really good as well. <laughs> which no doubt will be coming up in a product empties video in the next few months as well. So I've got the Only Good Bliss deodorant and the Only Good Restore deodorant. This has got Rose Hip and Marshmallow. And this one has Manuka Honey and Chamomile. Look, I don't mind liquid deodorants. I just find that they don't have enough power um, for my skin type and, yeah, my issues with odour in general. Um, so, yeah, just got to give them the flick. Oh, so sorry. This is what happens when you try and film when you're exhausted and tired from the week. But that's okay. We're going to keep going anyway. Um, so, yeah, look... The they're good deodorants for the average person. They're natural deodorants. They don't have aluminium and all that sort of crap in it as well. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking for a normal natural deodorant, this is a good place to start as well. Okie dokie. And two other deodorants that I'm getting rid of are the Kindly Coconut and Vanilla, which I did not like at all. This has a very vinegary smell to it, which I did not like at all. And this one is the Asano Freedom Fragrance-Free Deodorant. I did like this deodorant. I wouldn't call it a fragrance-free deodorant. There's definitely a little bit of a fragrance to it. Um, but, yeah, that I just prefer the other ones. And I don't see myself using these on a regular basis. They're just going to sit in my, um, you know, in my bathroom and they're not going to be much use. So just easier to get rid of them. I know it's a waste of money, but um, I did buy them for review purposes anyway. Um, and I've done my reviews of yeah, just not for me. Not for me at all. Okay, more things. So I did use up a lavender essential oil. I bought this one from Kmart. It's about $2, something like that. Um, I put these in uh, my diffuser. I often put them in a spray bottle and I actually use them to repel spiders from my car. Um, as many of you might know, Australia is famous for spiders. Uh, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. But we do get quite a few spiders. And unfortunately, the hot weather at the moment has brought some of them indoors as well. So I have been using this around the home to repel spiders. I've been using it just on my car window, like the little side mirror thing, just spraying it around there, spraying it on the car door handles. Because um, I've had, yeah, in, in January, I had spiders in my car door handles. I had them in the actual mirror. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant. So hopefully that has stopped them from taking up residence in my car and they'll just stick to the trees or whatever they're doing. So, yeah. <laughs> Next product I have for you is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. Now, I got this as a part of an order. It might have been a Mecca order I did um, earlier this month. It might have been that I just ordered some Toucher products, which are some of my favorite um, skincare products outside of Lush. Um, and yeah, this came along with it and it is a five mil and I was very impressed that they gave a very substantial, um, sample of eye cream for once. I love when companies actually give you a proper sample of their product and especially with skincare and not just a little pouch that lasts you, you know, two uses, one use maybe. Um, so yeah, I actually had 
enough eye cream to use it quite consistently for a few weeks and just see how I like it. Now, I'm not a huge fan of eye creams in general. I don't find they make a difference for me. That's probably because of my age, I'm only 26 um, and I don't tend to have problems with my eyes or my under eye area. But I did like this eye cream. I thought um, my under eye area looked really good with this. I I didn't get any of those milia or Miller or whatever they call them. Milia, I think that's the name. Uh, so the little um, ducks that sort of block up or have like that, they sort of react to um, the eye cream or if you've got too much of an eye cream or it's too heavy for your skin, they sort of, those little benign dots that start popping up um, around your eyes, which tends to happen with me quite a lot. So that's also why I don't tend to use eye cream very often either. Um, but yeah, it didn't happen with this one. So yeah, I really liked it. I think in the future, maybe, you know, when I start to hit 30 or around that age, I might consider using an eye cream more regularly, but I am not having an issue at the moment. I tend to just rub the last little bit of my moisturizer under there very gently. Um, and I haven't had any issues with that. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on that. I do have a couple of perfumes. Now these used to be my project pan with perfumes that I was doing ages ago. I think I stopped it about midway through 2020. I just wasn't getting much progress with these, but um, I've been working hard this month. I really wanted to use these up. Um, so I've got the Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This is a 10 mil rollable. Um, as you can imagine by the name, it is quite a floral smell. Um, not really sweet or anything like that. It's one of those ones that you sort of have to try for yourself to really know, but it is quite strong in scent. It's an eau de parfum. So that means it has a stronger concentration of perfume to alcohol than an eau de toilette would. So yeah. And same with the Toca Florence. This was also a rollable and same sort of thing. This was an eau de parfum, quite strong as well. A little bit um, more sort of rounded with the florals. I think this was, this was a floral one as well. It was a little bit more rounded with the florals and a little bit more fresher than Flora Botanica, but both really nice um, fragrances. And they stayed in my collection for quite a while just because I loved the scent and I didn't want to use them up too quickly. But I've got so many other perfumes <laughs> and so many lush perfumes, as many of you will know. Um, so yeah, you know, it, it's fine to get rid of them. I don't mind them. Uh, I don't think I'll be repurchasing them anytime soon. I've got other things in my collection that I value that actually have a similar scent or are a better scent and they're actually costing me less. So yeah, there's that as well. Okay, so I'm on to some of these sort of satchel, sachet type things. Uh, so I've got the Body Shop Vitamin E Quench Sheet Mask. This was a terrible product. Um, I did mention this in the Vitamin E Body Shop reviews that I did. Um, yeah, it smells very strongly of alcohol. It's It made my skin sting. Um, not a good product. Please don't buy this. It's it's not a good product. Um, I had a few people in the comments say they had a very similar experience. Um, so yeah, just be really careful with that, guys. Yeah, don't want you guys burning your precious faces. Next product I have, this is something I feature in most of my product empties, is the New Face Prep and Glow dual-sided cloth or cleansing cloths, I like to call them. It, so this is a two-in-one product. You've got these sort of nobules on one side and then on the other side, it's quite a smooth product. It's got a chemical exfoliation in there as well as having that sort of physical exfoliation, very gentle physical exfoliation with the little knobs on it as well. So these are great for removing makeup. They're great if I come home after a long day and I can't be bothered hopping in the shower or I'm very time poor and I don't wanna go in the shower. Sometimes if I come home from the gym and I've gotta really quickly be somewhere else, sometimes I will just wipe my face and some parts of my body with it, you know, underarms, genitals, that sort of thing. I've, I haven't found any issues with using these in sensitive areas, which is funny because they do contain um, an acid in it. So it's kind of, I, I wouldn't recommend using them near your genital area, but um, I haven't had any issues with them thus far. So yeah, there you go. Uh, next product I have for you is the Body Shop Drops of Youth. This one is the Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask. This is just I would say this is just a really nice gel-like moisturizer, basically. Um, it's not overly heavy. I wouldn't call it a sleeping mask. I don't feel like 
it gives you enough moisture for that purpose, which I'm actually completely fine with because I don't like that type of product anyway. Um, I don't like products that don't sink into the skin um, before bed because then it's a problem. <laughs> for me, it's a problem because I don't like waking up with a pillow just covered in cack. <laughs> there we go. There, there's some um, there's some Australian slang for you. I, I just I call it cack. It's just gunk, basically. Um, I, I don't like having bits of product left on my pillow at night because it just means I have to wash my pillowcase and everything. And yeah, it's not my it's not my scene. But if you're into that, go for it. But I toss and turn way too much at night for any of that sort of jazz. Um, so yeah, there we go. Next product I have for you is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. So this is just like a moisturizing cream, very lightweight, kind of just like a creamy gel consistency. I wouldn't call it a 72 hour moisturizer. <laughs> I definitely would not. It's obviously got hyaluronic acid if they're calling it a 72 hour moisturizer because most of them do tend to have hyaluronic acid, um, which is known to... Um, attract moisture to the skin and keep it there. Uh, look, there was nothing special about this cream. It was a, it was a moisturizing cream. Clinique is quite pricey. Mm, it, it's debatable whether it's worth that price. Uh, but yeah, I certainly won't be purchasing more anytime soon. Same with the Body Shop one. I mean, the price point, mm, you know, I, I might justify buying it one day, but I mean, I just have so many other moisturizers that I like using and that I am using at the moment. So it's not something that's on my list, if you get what I mean. Okay, uh, here is the deodorant that I was actually talking about. Second last product out of this uh, empties is the Lavlin, or Lavlin, should I say, uh, Total Odor Protection Underarm Deodorant Cream. They included this sport sample with my order. Um, I bought like the women's one, uh, and there's no real difference in terms of scent. I tested them both and I mean, the difference in scent is very negligible. Um, there's no aluminium, no alcohol, and no parabens in this product. It is a up to seven days deodorant. I tend to get about five to six days out of this deodorant, and it is my new favorite deodorant. So I don't have to apply deodorant every single day, which is wonderful. I just apply it every few days or so, so I don't ha ever have to catch up um, uh, or, or smell terrible. <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And yeah, I just really, really love uh, the product. Oh, sorry. I really am tired. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I really love the product. It is one of my favorites. Most definitely the best deodorant I've ever tried in my many years of trying new deodorants and seeing what works and what doesn't. And yeah, very, very happy with this product. So yeah, going to keep using it. Last product is another one that I got as a sample that I was actually really, really happy with. And this is the Toucher, the Rice Wash. Now, this actually came in the uh, the cream that I bought from Toucher recently. Was it the Dewy something or other cream? It was the purple cream. I can't remember what it was called. I usually buy the water cream, um, which is in the sort of greeny, the light green kind of colored tub but I bought this one because they were doing a special sort of design on this one as well like they did with the water cream last year and I wanted two that kind of matched um, so they put some beautiful purple flowers on it this year and made it a bigger size um, for free so yeah I was like okay I'll buy this and this just happened to be inside now the rice wash is a fairly new product in touches range I think it's only been around for maybe a few months um, and yeah it's a soft cream cleanser it's for normal to dry skin it says add water to create a rich foam and massage onto face rinse, which is exactly what I did. I just put a little bit on my fing on my fingers or my palms or whatever you want to call it, gave it a good rub like that, and it had a beautiful creamy foam, went all over my face with it, and it was just perfect. One of my favorite cleansers, I think, that I've tried um, in recent history. Uh, it has little, like you can feel those little rice grains. They're so, so tiny and ground up. Um, they sort of exfoliate the skin really gently. And after using this, my skin felt really, really soft. It didn't feel overly dry. I didn't feel, oh, felt like I need to gra gravitate towards um, using, uh, you know, a, a moisturizer straight away. That's what I was thinking of. Um, yeah, it wasn't 
I think a lot of you will understand if you have fairly normal skin or even if you have quite dry skin as well, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. When you use a cleanser that is maybe a little too harsh for your skin, um, you often have that feeling of, oh crap, I need to just moisturize my face really quickly after getting out of the shower type of thing. Um, yeah, and, and that's definitely not the feeling I got with this um, face wash. So really, really love it. Um, and a little goes a long way with this product as well. You only need a tiny bit and it did a really, really good job. So yeah, it's definitely good value for money compared to a lot of drugstore cleansers where you certainly have to use a bit more to get a better result. Um, and yeah, really liked it. So I, I bought the full size already. So that's how much I liked it. So yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Please stay tuned for next month's product empties and also, you know, check out my other videos that I'll be posting throughout the month as well. And go and have a look back at my older videos if you are new to my channel. Thanks again for watching. Take care for now. Bye guys.